Adam. Thanks Hello. for coming and, and you know, I want to start things off. Um, knowing what was the inspiration of doing this series, which is based off of a book that came out like what, like 60 years ago. So what's the inspiration for doing it now? Yeah, well, it's a, it's obviously a book that's kind of stood the test of time, you know, it's it, kids and parents have been enjoying it since then. And, you know, I used to like that book when I was a kid. So I've always been fond of it. Um, the book itself, it was uh, something that it's a co-production between DreamWorks Animation and Wild Brain. And so they approached me, they, they, they knew they wanted to do a show based on the book and um, they approached writers, but like myself and said, you know, what do you think? What could this book be? And, um, you know, I, I just, I took to it because it felt like, even though it was this old classic book, it felt pretty timeless. You got dogs, you got vehicles, you have humor. Um, and it also felt like a fun creative challenge because it, it's not a book with the traditional set of characters or, or, or storylines. So mm -hmm. it has this great tone, but it was pretty wide open in terms of what it could be. Uh, so it was a really fun world to play in and, and to use things from the book, but also create new aspects and characters for the show. So um, I love, can you tell me a little bit about the music? Cause I, whenever I watch, especially these kids shows, you know, I'm always attracted to that. And I'm gonna tell you, some of those tunes were super catchy. I was singing that chicken and dogs all day. So <laughs> how did you come up with some of the music for this? Yeah, well, um, on, on a lot of the shows I've worked on, I've collaborated with the same composing partner, um, this very talented guy named Paul Buckley, who I've worked with in the past. Um, so I knew from the beginning I wanted to, to work with him. Um, I also wanted the music to feel like it was part of the world, not, not the sort of disembodied thing where the characters, you know, kind of, it, it wasn't a musical in, in a sense, characters just started singing, although I've worked on those shows too, and those are a lot of fun. But I wanted, uh, you know, the Barcapellas are characters that just live in the world and they are musical. That's just who, who they are as dogs. And so, you know, I like the idea of them being the driver and that whenever you needed a song, they could pop in and uh, start one off. Um, so, you know, because the, the, the book has that sense of these characters popping in and out, you know, do you like my hat? You know, these random little things. So I thought, well, if the music could function that way too, it might, it might both be fun and feel like the book in, in some ways. Um, so that's how it evolved. Yeah, so you mentioned, you know, this is a show about community and everything. And right now, I, so many kids are isolated yeah. uh, due to the circumstances. And I just wonder, you know, what do you hope those kids can get out of this? Yeah, well, I think that there's, it's a little bit of, you know, I don't know if escape is the right word, but it's, it, you know, when you are um, home a lot and you don't get those social interactions, it might feel hopefully fun and refreshing to see this world where, you know, characters are, um, you know, interacting and in public together. And because it also, it not only is it a little bit of an escape from our current situation? Hopefully it's a hopeful vision of what what will come, you know, it, it's what we'll get back there. And, um, you know, I, hopefully it's a nice uh, reminder of, because I mean, a lot of, you know, with the, with the pandemic, one of the hardest parts of it, not only is our own isolation, but I think it's uh, seeing cities and stuff you know, suffer and, and businesses close. So we definitely thought about that when we were making these, shows because we it, the pandemic hit in the middle of it all and the show was envisioned before that but during it you see it in a different light you see, you see all these dogs interacting in such a free way and you just hope it's a way that we can get back to soon you know yeah so they have so many streaming services and and you know that you can go to these days for your series so how did you get involved with netflix yeah, well, my, involve, my involvement with this project started with the producing companies, uh, DreamWorks and Wild Brain. Um, and from there, you know, we developed the show together and then you bring it out to, to pitch to different um, platforms. And, and Netflix was, you know, they, they picked it up. So, uh, which we, we were thrilled about. It feels, I don't know why, but it just feels like the right, the right home for this property. Um, and they've been great to work with. And, you know, we're just, we're, we're really happy that it's on Netflix and can't wait to see what happens with it. Thank you. Thanks.